Hello everybody, it's Mike the Baldadonis, and today is Thursday, which means it's... Uh, Conspiracy Theories Thursday! With Gary from the gym. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Mike. Today I want to talk about um, the educational system in America. It's part of the uh, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars agenda. And uh, I want to do the aspect of the silent war in our educational system. Alright. Um, there are books and videos that talk about uh, the deliberate the deliberate dumbing down of America. So we want to keep America stupid. Yeah. Kind of. It, this, this is, it, it boggles my mind because it's about not being the best we can be. Right. Uh, this is why a lot of the, the elites don't like the America first agenda because that means that we want to be strong and independent, you know? I mean, we have the top colleges and universities People come all over the world just for our universities. Right. So, but I get it. I mean, it seems like America's not that bright. Well, it's being uh, steered that way. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, it, this all started back in 1880, 1898 with uh, John Dewey. Uh, he's a, uh, a school professor, and he claims that uh, change must come gradually to force uh, education and unduly with compromise to its final success by favoring a violent reaction, whatever that means. So, but the key word is gra uh, gradual. So, it's been like five generations. It takes a few generations to, it's like a frog in the water. It just, uh, you know, you turn the water on, it starts getting warm and then hot and hot and the frog didn't even know it was coming on and he ends up getting boiled. Uh, so, uh -huh. the graduation of the so, transformation so, of uh, education. So yeah. our kids are being boiled in the brain to be dumb. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. And and the parents are being duped. Okay. Taxpayer dollars are getting duped. It's just amazing. The, and the more I, you know, I, I learned about this about five years ago, and then I got back into it just to learn about it. And it's an interesting topic. You can look. Just Google Common Core. Uh, that's the new thing now. Uh, deliberately dumbing down America. Just that title itself will explain to you yeah. how, how weird, well, do you ever ask yourself why, why things are so weird the way they are, the why kids act the way they do, and society is the way it is, things seem like upside down? Well, this is the training that's uh, being um, purposely uh, bestowed upon us. So, uh, let's see, uh, nine, for instance, in 1913, the Federal Reserve was uh, kicked in because our politicians signed, signed rules and laws to take over the banking system. The Constitution doesn't allow the Federal Reserve to do that, but somehow our, our uh, representatives did that. Same with the AMA, American Medical Association, back in, uh, in the 20s. Uh, Rockefeller and his group took over all the, uh, medical, uh, all the medical schools and, and persuaded them to do more medicine instead of the natural natural things. Uh, I'm just yeah, illustrating yeah. how things are taken over. So it's not too far-fetched to be taken over the, uh, the educational system. In fact, the, uh, in uh, 2013, <laughs> the U.S. Department of Education superseded Congress and they have their own rules. Uh, I, you know, I was going to get to that at the end, but uh, it's called Promoting Grit, Tenacity, and Persever Perseverance. Critical factors for success in the 21st century, of, and this came out in February 3rd, 2013. And you'll find that a lot of these documents have been taken off the internet so people can't read it. So it's, it's kind of a, uh, it, it's kind of like hidden. You really got to find things. People have saved it on their well, computers. They, they can find it now. Yeah, just Google that. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, with the, uh, this uh, promoting the grit, tenacity, and per perseverance. They have uh, student effective sensors in it. They have facial expression cameras, posture analysis seats that the kids sit in a seat and they analyze the posture. Pressure mouses, see how hard the kids pressing, pressing on the mouse. Uh, wireless skin conductor sensors that they put around their wrists. They, what they're doing is, is <laughs> it's amazing what computers can do. So they're tabulating all this data about, you know, the kid's nervous, uh, they sweating, uh, you know, they stressed, not yeah, stressed. Taking you know. the vitals. Yeah, way. and apparently Obamacare has something to do with this too. So they're the intertwined 
health, health, and your your records. Um, according to this, in the 2013. So would those records be like to share with other hospitals in case something? No, this ain't about hospitals. It'll be about corporations understanding okay. what type of person you are, uh, understanding what's going on at home because the kid might be extra nervous, you know, right. facial experience, you know, sad one day, happy the other. And then they'll label that bipolar. Could be. Well, that, yeah. yeah. Well, they you know. They just want to give people all kinds of medication. Well, yeah, well, I was going to come to that, but. Uh, hey, you want me on this This show. isn't really about, yeah. No, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the uh, obvious thing, but there, uh, this is really subliminal. With, when it comes to uh, the education processes, they they teach more on behavioral, more about attitudes rather than uh, the the academics of knowing how math is and, and uh, science and and uh, English and writing and what have you. It's more about attitude and behaviors. And, and if you've seen that, if it appear to have the right answers, you pass. So it's more of a uh, a teaching uh, leadership. Uh, when you look up to somebody, what do you call it? A mentor? Well, well, look up to him. Yeah, but you know, something of, uh, I can't remember it. But anyway, see in 1934, the Carnegie Corporation said this, we will use the schools to change America from a free individualistic economy to a socialist plan economy in the new order. So <laughs> you've heard of New World Order with uh, Bush Sr., Bush Jr. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had the verses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Okay, nineteen. I, I'm just trying to show you the uh, yearly graduations of different things. This has been going on all that time. In 1985, President Reagan and the Soviet Gorbachev, President Gorbachev there, they signed a deal in the, at the Geneva summit uh, where they'd have the U.S. and the Soviet education system work together, the Carnegie Soviet, Soviet education system, and the, uh, these agreements remain in effect to this day. So, stuff is going on. Um, this thing called the Humanist Manifesto, it's the plan of the total international, uh, it, it takes, uh, takes over as an atheist, it's a control plan for the U.S. Anything goes, tolerance for everything, no religion, no sovereignty, world government, get rid of the uh, military, no accountability, no, no individualism, and it's all collectivism. So this is a, a world thing, and, and they want to get Americans on board. You know, our elite, the elites are about the world and control. So, uh, so anyway, in our schools you'll find that they have sex ed, drug ed, bullying education, uh, decision education, alcohol education, critical thinking, decision making, all these eds. So this is how they form and they come up with all these ideas and rules that you know people should be thinking and how they should think. Uh, think about it, you know, it's kind of odd that they give out condoms, they talk about sex education in, in grammar, grammar school, how sec uh, various sexual um, positions or whatever, uh, you know, you say to yourself, why? Why? You know, they're not old enough. They should be old, you know, uh, high school or later. I don't know. But anyway, they hand out condoms. So what's what's that all do? That that gives enticement. It shows a sense of um, these kids now know what's going on a little bit. So they get interactive with one another. Uh, what happens? Some have um, pre-wed pre uh baby so whatever you want oh, to call they have them young There's yeah exactly you know, well. or yeah. Um, you know and then you get into the abortion thing and everybody's lives are ruined you know i mean there's a time and place for everything but i don't know they, they teach in, in grammar school or, or the third graders or whatever about homosexuality and trans transhumanism and uh transgenders, transgenders you really? know yeah oh yeah I know. you know do your research so what it is it's just it's taking the little kids innocence away and filling them up with all these ideas and so that you know now I, I can instead of asking Sally for a date I can ask Billy for a date you know because that's the way it is mm -hmm. it's it's just taking away the individualism you know in a sense like that uh, you can change a country through their schools 
uh, a psychological uh, wave has been played out in the schools. It's played out in the mass media, television, and our movies that we go pay big bucks for at the movie theater. You see, so it's a psychological changing. This is what it is. I mean, the idea is to try to meld everybody and everything, you know, together. Uh, so anyway, um, they don't want you to, uh, see the uh, education system doesn't want you to know about this. Uh, and uh, and you can, and here's, I've looked into this too, phonics is big. They don't teach phonics anymore. Uh, the way you change the world is how, from the kids, their education is to change how they, the reading is taught in the schools. You get away from the phonics method which teaches the children to read phonically, which enhances brain power, expands vocabulary, enhances the use of their brain. They change it to look to the look scene method. That teaches children to read English as if it were like Chinese. Chinese has symbols, you know. Uh, so the look scene method, uh, what it is is they have to mem the kids have to memorize little words. They call that sight vocabulary. The list of words to memorize before they know the sounds of letters. That creates this, the sight reflex, okay? So this sight reflex is a picture reflex in the brain that, become, that becomes and blocks to see the phonic structure of our words. So now that creates a dyslexia, okay? So the children are not seeing a, a, a phonic or a syllable I mean, uh, whatever, the, the phonics of a letter, sh, sh, you know, or eh, or t. They see words in, in not being able to pronounce the uh, phonics. So it creates this anxiety, this the dyslexia. Well, isn't dyslexia reading backwards? Isn't it? It, it's having difficulty uh, with, the, uh, with the mind uh, to, to, to understand. So this is where you get the ADD, the ADHD, and then this is where you're talking about medication. So, <laughs> because the kids are all stressed out or because he can't read or anything or he's having a hard time, he's all moving around, you know, he's frustrated and whatever. So then the teachers and the administration would say, well, it looks like your children might need Ritalin, Adderall, or Prozac or Melabril, you know, so. It's showing, I'm trying to show you that the, the school system is not all what it cracks up to be. Uh, well, it's proven. I mean, we have horrible grades. Like, we come last right. in almost everything, don't we? Pretty much. And, you know, and they're doing this to claim to help, help the students. You know, let's have a national core system. They call it core, core uh, what's the name of it? Common Core. And, and like I said, the U.S. Department of Education has taken over the whole country and, and, and they want everybody to be taught under the same curriculum. Um, the federal government enticed all the states to take money and in three years after you take this money that you're going to uh, uh, instill Common Core in your, in your school system. So uh, 46 states took the bait, uh, Georgia did not. But now the federal government's trying to take money away from uh, Georgia just for the sake of taking it away. You see, so uh, you, so it's a plan, and they want to get it instilled. Uh, it's just amazing with the computers and what have you, and the, the children studying your test scores. At least my, when I had test scores, the papers are gone and been burnt and they're in the trash. With today's day and age, everything's going to be on the computer. So. You know, everything's saved. Everything's right. So this all comes down to being able to uh, uh, understand who you are as a student or a person, and then get you into a workforce. Uh, it's about workforce. This is how the Sophias worked. Uh, you went to school to learn how to work. You know, uh, they don't. They don't want too many intellectual people because you have a lot of intellectual people. They have all high needs. They want higher wages. Uh, they want to do their own thing. So if you have people, people with a, a stable IQ, mm -hmm. they're willing to go to the work for you and, and do what they have to do for the uh, corporate uh, companies. 
So that's the idea. I hope I kind of relate something there. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Uh, I have a lot of a lot of things to say, but I kind of forget it. <laughs> so in a nutshell. In a nutshell, if parents stand up and try to, they see the deception and they stand up to it, they they are labeled kooks. It's in a nutshell. So it's almost as if we can't help ourselves and the system is just playing its way. And I suggest that you Google Common Core, uh, look up deliberate, uh, Deliberately Dumbing Down America, and you can see the ins and outs and how we're being betrayed as American citizens by our leadership. And it's all under the guise of money and, and taking over uh, people's lives, basically. So that's the silent weapon for a quiet war. You see, it's stealthy. You don't know what's happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I see it happening right here. Yeah. Hmm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give this a thumbs up if you like this video. This one's going down. I think, I, I think it's going to go down. It was, it was a tough one to swallow. But yeah. listen, guys, right. we're having fun. Gary gets nervous, I get nervous. Sometimes things get out of control, but give us a chance, have fun with it. It's a conspiracy theory. Yeah, that's a conspiracy. Yeah, you know. Uh, hey, really, are they, that's right. Are they trying to destroy the schools and the, and the children's minds and everything? I don't know, that's up to, to you to find out. Exactly, so this was just a, one of those videos that you can like, uh, let me look that up. You know what I mean? That's some information that maybe I can Oh find. yeah. So, well, the more I got in it, the more I just like can't believe what I'm reading and seeing because it's just amazing. Because I, I believe that we were born to help one another out, you know, be, be of the country that we are and make, you know, and help everyone and, and, and be the best we can be. And, and here we are, we have, we pay tax dollars to these. The teachers are victimized just as bad. You know, a lot of them quitting because they're seeing this and it's like, this ain't right. Right. But they have to do their like order for followers. If they don't follow the orders, then they, they have to get uh, booted. So it's just a whole betrayal and it's just amazing to see this. You you would not think it would happen in America, but it's happening. So all right guys, so we're gonna wrap it up. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed, give us a thumbs up. Um what else, Gary? So we're gonna see Gary that's every Thursday, conspiracy theory Thursdays with Gary from the gym. So until the next video, guys, Baldadonis out.